Greetings, this is Tim. Welcome back to the channel. This week I wanted to do a review of the first 10 things that I think a new owner of an Anchor Make M5 should do after setting up their printer and running the provided test print. These are either modifications to the printer or useful tools or accessories for the printer. Most of the models are available on Thingverse or printable and links to the models are available in the description below. Some of the models are Anchor Make models that are either available on Anchor Make's website or are available as locally hosted models on the printer. The parts and materials I purchased are from Amazon and the links for those are below as well. So let's get started. Number one is to replace the M2 by 16 millimeter screws that attach the hot end to the heat sink. There's been numerous reports of people replacing the nozzle, shearing these silver screws off. Here I am replacing them with a steel alloy cap screw. Number two is the Spiggy Tech Anchor Make M5 Hot End Service Tool Block. I think this should be the first print any new user has as if you need to service the nozzle it's easier to remove the hot end and then use this block to remove the nozzle rather than risk sharing the screws. Number three is the Slice Engineering Plastic Repellent Paint. Use this on your nozzle to prevent your nozzle from adhering to the filament and dragging your prints around the print bed. Number four is a screw tray. While this one is an Acre Make model that is available locally on your printer, there are many available on Thingverse and printables that are good alternatives to this. The point is, you're going to be taking your printer apart, you'll need a screw tray. Number five is the Anchor Make M5 spare parts box. This is a convenient box for storing all the small parts that came with the printer. The lid snaps into place securing the parts in the box so even if the box is dropped upside down all the parts are secured. Number six is a calibration cube. There's many models available but I find these useful to know how well the printer is calibrated. Each side should be 20 millimeters and by measuring you can determine if it's in tolerance for the axes in each direction. I also find it useful for telling if the Z offset is too low as the bottom of the cube will squish out and be wider than the top. The Anchor Make M5 does not come with a physical scraper to help remove models from the print bed. But it does come with a printable model of a scraper and that's this smaller scraper you see here. I also found it useful to print a larger scraper from printables and that's the octagonal scraper you see here. This print is an example of a thermometer and hygrometer sensor print that are available and is useful in 3D printing to monitor conditions to know how to adjust prints. This model also has mounting brackets available for it that conveniently fit on the top rail of the Anchor Make M5. Number nine is the frictionless filament holder. I use this one as it's similar to the filament holders on my Ender and Monoprice printers. There are other models available that the spool holder will adjust to the diameter of the spool roll. Number ten are these accessory bins by Spiggy Tech. The bin on the right I use for tools. The bin on the left I use for collecting filament when scraping the bed. I recommend printing these horizontally and make sure your supports are on. These bins also have the option to be secured in place with magnets. So that's it. The first 10 things that a new owner should do to their Anchormake M5. There are many, many other things that need to be done. The next step would be to go into the calibration prints and we'll discuss that in another video. Have a good week. Talk to you later.